Hey guys, Stunt Double here. This video is a quick look at my ground station. It's designed for 1.3 GHz and it features antenna tracking and a wireless video repeater. It's built into a nice strong box. It's compact, it's easy to carry around, it's simple to set up and it's not too heavy. The main feature of my ground station is the antenna tracking which works with Eagle Tree gear. Mounted on top here is a Servo City pan and tilt unit. This one rotates greater than 360 degrees and it tilts 90 degrees up and down. It's a heavy duty unit with some high tech servos and gears. The antenna is a homemade four element Yagi which is tuned for my frequency. It's 3D printed in PLA with copper wire for the elements. It's built up to some IB crazy dimensions that he posted on RC groups a few years ago. It works really well and gives me a solid picture up to about 30 Ks. If you'd like to build one of these yourself, you can find it on Thingiverse. Here is the master power button. On the side here is a voltage display. This switch on the left is to turn on the antenna tracker servos and this switch on the right is to turn on the video repeater. Let's open it up and have a look inside. This board here is an Eagle Tree Eagle Eyes. I've removed all of the AV connectors so I can fit down inside this small box. I need the Eagle Eyes pretty much just for the antenna tracking feature that it provides. It works together with the vector fly controllers that I have in a few different planes. The antenna tracking works really well. It's so good that I don't even bother with diversity anymore. The video receiver is from ReadyMade RC. It's the one with the upgraded saw filter. I can't actually access these channel buttons from the outside, but I never need to swap channels anyway. This is a 5.8 GHz VTX, which is used for the video repeater. It's a Fatshark 25 milliwatt unit with a cloverleaf antenna. The repeater is one of the best features of my ground station. It allows me to fly without cables connected to the goggles which makes it much easier to launch planes. And when I'm flying with other people using a repeater too, I can flick over to their channels and watch their feed. All the wiring and switches go back to this PDB. Everything inside the ground station runs off 12 volts. There's a cooling fan down here. This is a video output socket. I use this to hook up an LCD monitor. I never actually fly off the monitor, I really only use it for testing. The video output socket is also here if there's ever interference with the 5.8 video repeater. I can turn off the repeater with this switch and plug the goggles directly into the ground station. The ground station is powered by two 3-cell 2700 milliamp LiPos wired up together. These are old quadcopter packs that were converted from 4S into 3 and they fit perfectly under the lid. I get about 4 or 5 flying sessions before they need a recharge. Besides the Yagi antenna, I also use this biquad, which is a homemade job too. This is made up using a copper PCB and a 3D printed piece for the active element. You can find this on Thingiverse too. The bicord gives a much wider beam compared to the Yagi, so it's a better choice when I'm flying a plane that doesn't use the antenna tracking. I can disable the tracker with this switch, then I can manually adjust the antenna direction by hand. The third antenna I sometimes use is this circular polarized skew planer. 
Underneath the ground station enclosure I've got a tripod mount. It sits on a standard camera tripod and gives me a height of approximately one and a half meters. I've also got some rubber feet mounted onto the bottom of the enclosure. Sometimes I just put the ground station onto the car roof and don't bother with the tripod. The enclosure is a box from an electrical shop. The ground station with the Yagi antenna fitted weighs in at 1690 grams. A fair chunk of the weight comes from the Servo City Pan and Tilt unit. It's a bit overkill for the job it does, but I haven't been able to find any smaller or lighter setups that are strong enough. So that's my ground station. There's a few more things I'd like to do with this, such as fitting some external battery charging connectors, and also add the Eagle Tree power panel to display GPS coordinates. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. Happy flying guys!